Alright, hello YouTube. Collector's Domain here again, and today I have a very special review. Uh, just yesterday, I did the Encore 20 Devastator review. And today, I'm actually going to be going over the XP1 Transbots Destroyer upgrade set. This thing. Jeez. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I recorded this yesterday. I tried doing a review on uh, the actual upgrade set at the same time, but oh my god, I could not do it. I was so frustrated with this thing, and I'll get into why. But for now, let's take a look at the packaging. So this is the box you get. It's 10 inches tall and 2 inches thick. It's a uh, it's corrugated cardboard as you can see there you can see all the little flutes um, it's really thick it, it's really nice and it's glossy and it's it's sturdy it's gonna last a while on my shelf it's really beautiful here it says XP1 artwork of devastator which this picture kinda um, throws it off cuz I didn't like it too much because if you look at the head here yeah as you can see here it's not nowhere near the same. This one's the, like closer to G1. This one, not the same. And then the crotch piece, the cod piece right here, not the same. It's uh, it's a little different. It's big enough of a difference that makes me a little upset because this one looks funny. Like this whole part right here. This one actually looks good. But that's not what we get. Uh, stays the same with the actual chest plate but it's not the same again it's a little bit different in design wise with the the one that you actually get uh, the forearms I want to go over the forearms uh, these things are really big they're like twice the size of the originals uh, you could do the same thing you could pull the fists out like that and you could put in the original G1 if you like them better because these fingers are just crap they fall off so easily you could work around that if you're really gentle with it but more than likely 90% of the time they're just gonna fall right off okay. and right out of the box it comes with stress marks I don't know if you can see that yeah see there's like stress marks in it and that's in every single finger I don't know how that happened but every finger has stress marks so you gotta be really gentle with them see they just flop around really crappy hands it's like the worst part of the set and trying to put this thing together um, it took me two hours last night I know I'm a little slow but uh, the instruction manual actually confused me and I'll show you that in a minute but yeah, see the hands? These are actually really good. I thought they were when I first looked at them, but when I attached them yesterday, they're really awkward. It connects on like this on the peg onto uh, onto scavenger, and it holds on like that, right? But there's no elbow, like, no bending inwards like that. It's actually on a different one, so it's going to be connected to the body here, and it's going to have sideways elbow movement which is awkward you can't get him to bend upwards to hold his gun or bend at the elbow so this side's pretty useless and it's it's crap it's the articulation it doesn't help that much at all now I'll show you when I actually put it onto the figure okay before I go into the actual manual I just wanted to show this off it's the card that comes with the instructions um, before I took it out of the package I thought it would be really cool to have this but if you look closely to it it's it's garbage it looks really cheap and there's a lot of like little uh, flaws in the picture it's not crisp it's not clean uh, this just feels like it's worthless I thought it was gonna be cool but not really now here we have the actual instruction manual. It's a horrible instruction manual here. So yeah, it doesn't explain right. It's most of it is straightforward, like pop on the head onto the ball joint. Uh, I don't know what that is. This connects onto the back of hook. 
I don't know what that is. I think this goes on top of somebody. It's not clear at all. And then here, this is where it really, really threw me off. It's going to be hard. It's hard for you to see it. But here, just trust me when I say that. Uh, the way this picture is compared to this, it's backwards. It shows that this thing is on this side and this one is on this side. So, what I and when I looked at this, I thought, holy crap, mine is backwards. I thought it was a quality control problem. So what I did was unscrew this and switch it back, uh, switch sides. So I put this thing on this side and this one on this side. And that was a bad move because, well, it wasn't a bad move. I learned what was inside it. There are two springs on top of like two little posts and they hold the legs down and when you rotate them you see they make a clicking sound a nice these are nice legs they really are for the most part see and um, yeah it's just like a little warning take heed when if you're gonna do that if you're gonna switch but don't even switch because this is the way they should be the two little holes for the cod piece in front and then this thing on this side it's going to connect to mix master and then this thing is going to connect onto uh bone crusher i don't know but yeah so this is the way it should be okay remember that if you're going to get this kit not this way this way damn this because of that it took me two hours to put this thing together uh, this helped a little bit i mean it just showed which way the mix master's purple dump mixer um, cement mi dump mixer <laughs> cement mixer goes uh, it shows you the proper way to put it that that's helpful that's useless it's magnum that and the breastplate actually worked really well I like it it's sturdier than I thought it was gonna be and uh, connecting the arms All right so, so here I have the layout of all the pieces uh, here's just a little size comparison I forgot to do in the other video uh, there's the Reveal the Shield Optimus Prime Legends class next to uh, Mixmaster. That's just the way they look. And I think it's actually a pretty good scale. And he's the only accessory, well, the only other accessory I'm going to be using with uh, my display when I display my Devastator. I think it's great because uh, I think construction vehicles should be a little bit bigger than, you know, a, a cab. So, yeah, let's get into it to build it from the ground up so I'll take him and mix master oops well done put mix master back into back into his robot into his uh, leg mode and the first thing we're gonna do is take the pants now like I said this is the way the pants should be now how they're gonna connect which the instructions were horrible at explaining, I'll try to make it a little clearer, is that this peg is going to go into the back over here in front of Mixmaster's face and it's just going to slide in. See? The little peg covers Mixmaster's face. There, right there. So that's it. It just slides right on. I don't know how this took me two hours. Uh, the other one, this side, is going to connect slide on. You see how that works? It's like a little puzzle. It just slides right on. It just grabs it. Uh, it's a really secure connection. It doesn't actually clip. Uh, this side doesn't. But it's strong enough. Okay, so let me just move this out of the way. And put them down. So now the next part. Let's take the cod piece with the two pegs and just put it into the two holes. Simple enough. You got rotation in them. They're on hinges. And they just rotate in and out. Uh, let's see. The next part probably would be long haul. Now, you see the, the old slot for when you connected it to the original? It still applies. It goes on top of here. And it's a nice sturdy connection. Like the plastic is really good on it. It doesn't feel like it's gonna snap off easily. So that's I'm I'm actually happy about that. And it's it's a tight fit. Most of the things on this 
upgrade set are really tight connections and that could be a good thing or bad thing as we'll see later like right now it's good but when it comes to the arms it's pretty bad now we'll take high tower hook I don't remember and just let's see what are we gonna do right we have to connect the head on okay this part really upsets me this this is one of the worst parts of the upgrade set uh, I have the Encore 20 I don't know if it makes a difference but this thing barely slides on this part is uh, too thick in here and so I actually had to shave off a big layer of plastic so that it could actually wrap around this and it still doesn't even hold on it holds on purely by friction and it's so tight that it feels like this thing is like stretching outwards and I just feel like I might break it so that's why I'm not going to transform this too much just this one time doing this video so let's just slip it on let's see if it works just force it on there I hate using force on my stuff like that I know that it's center when it's leaning up against this piece that sticks out and uh, you see it just grips see it doesn't even grip onto anything it's like just hanging there okay so uh, here we have the torso piece the upper torso looking down here you can see that this is where the rotating waist piece comes in since this part isn't uh, sorry this part isn't exactly clipped onto here this could easily slip off and come apart but if you're gentle enough and hold it it should stick now connecting it onto uh, onto the top part of the pants let's see you just take it's, it's the same exact thing as the original you just slip it on but for this one it's actually a lot better so this part is was done really nicely and it sticks on there let's put it on see it just fits on it fits on completely I know that on the original it wasn't that great but here see now it adds a lot of well not much see, but the arms. rotating uh, here I'll take scavenger and I'll take his hand over here crap look at that it just fell off already I already lost a finger and I'm so mad about that but not on this hand the other hand uh, all the fingers are actually universal so if one falls off you could put it on another finger uh, yeah they just don't hang on at all but yeah so for now I'm just gonna leave it in a closed fist because that's probably the best way to hold the fingers because once they're bent, oh, once they're bent and put in properly, damn it! See, it falls off like glass. Be right back.